Bill, what have the FBI been saying then in terms of this suspect? What are the details that have come through in the last 12 hours or so? Well, yeah, Tom, like you said, the 58-year-old suspect, Ryan Routh, uh, may have been, according to his cellular phone data, spending about 12 hours uh, in the area where he was with his rifle and backpack waiting for the president, a former president, to show up. This is all according to the FBI and police investigation. They also found that the vehicle he was captured in about an hour after a Secret Service engaged him uh, had license plates that were stolen from another vehicle. Uh, so a lot of details still emerging. He's initially been charged with two counts, uh, one being a felon having a, uh, illegally having a weapon, and the other uh, being having a weapon that had its serial number defaced or scratched out. Uh, I suspect we'll get a lot more details on additional charges over the next week or two. Uh, but the FBI is still now looking very deeply into his social media presence to see if there's anything more they can learn about his motivations. Bill, to what extent has this episode readjusted or at least led to changes in terms of the, the Trump campaign? Well, it's definitely allowed the Trump campaign to uh, kind of turn the page on a discussion that had focused quite a bit on the former president's uh, relatively poor performance in the debate against Kamala Harris exactly a week ago. Uh, Republicans are focused, uh, or, or Trump has focused more on saying that uh, the Democratic rhetoric uh, has led to uh, this second assassination attempt on him. Uh, he's tried to push back and say that he's going to keep fighting, that he is committed to uh, winning the election. Uh, but basically, I think we're not going to hear quite as much talk about uh, things like whether immigrants are eating people's pets. That, uh, along with the debate, had been the big focus just 48 hours ago. I think Republicans are going to try to switch this to more discussion about the economy uh, and other things where the former president is typically on a little bit stronger footing.